What is going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie and I just picked up the Series 6 44 millimeter Apple Watch in Navy. If you're watching this video, you're probably trying to decide which Apple Watch you should get if you have the Series 3 and are looking to upgrade, which is the situation I was in, or if you're in the market for your first Apple Watch. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. It, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. I make content about tech, and lifestyle and my experiences as a software engineer. Before I give my opinion about which Apple Watch you should consider purchasing or if it's worth the upgrade, let's talk about the big differences between the Apple Watch Series 6 and the previous generation, specifically the Series 3 and the Series 5. The big difference between the Apple Watch Series 6 and previous generations are the new sensors that allow you to see the percentage of your blood oxygen. The blood oxygen sensor is using infrared photography to measure the color, thus the percentage of oxygen in your blood. Apple Watch Series 6 gives you the ability to measure your blood's oxygen saturation, which is an overall indicator of wellness. Obviously, it's not the end-all be-all. Of course, you want to consult with your doctor or another medical professional. With ECG and the new blood oxygen feature, Apple is definitely taking a more health and wellness approach to the Apple Watch, which is something I can definitely appreciate. Now, some of you may be thinking, yes, you know, knowing the percentage of your blood oxygen is important, but why that feature now? Well, this feature was really timely with the coronavirus because some patients who were in critical condition with COVID-19 have had low blood oxygen levels. Healthy blood oxygen levels are around 97%. Now that we talked about the sensors, let's talk about the processing improvements and the brightness improvements. In terms of processing improvements, Apple Watch Series 6 has the new S6 chip, which is 20% faster than the S4 and S5 chips. The S6 chip is a dual core chip based on the A13 chip found inside the iPhone 11. One of my favorite features, if not my favorite feature, especially coming from the Apple Watch Series 3, is the always on display and the retina screen that's 30% larger than the Series 3. The always on display is about 20% brighter than the Series 5 model, but only really noticeable when you're outside. Apple also says that the Series 6 can charge about 20% faster than the Series 5, which is good news considering the fact that there were complaints about the battery life of the Series 5 being worse than the Series 3 because of the always on display, which then just defeats the purpose of having that feature turned on. But hopefully in a real world setting, the Series 6 battery life is in fact 20% faster. Obviously, Apple did not deliver on any new shapes. I mean, they never said that they were, but I love if they would create some new shapes, just add a more diverse option of watches to choose from. Apple also announced new colors, which is always exciting because they market their products so well. For the Series 6, the new colors are navy blue, gold that looks a lot less pink in person than the previous gold colorway. Graphite, which unfortunately isn't available in aluminum, that's a bummer, but also product red, which always looks so good in person and is for a great cause. Also some new faces and their designs are definitely inspired by some of the most iconic watch brands like Rolex and Omega. There's also this new like band called the Solo Loop, it's basically stretchable silicon without a buckle. I personally still think, you know, watch bands with a buckle look better than bands without. It looks a little weird. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Man, it's like really hot in here for some reason and this box light definitely isn't helping. Fitness Plus. This is something that I'm really excited about. And for all of you workout junkies, you're gonna be excited about this one too. I've been using a Peloton subscription and you do not need a Peloton bike or a Peloton treadmill in order to use a Peloton subscription. I know someone had mentioned that before, like, oh, you know, if you don't have the bike, as if you can't use the membership, trust me, Peloton is great. 
and I think Apple's trying to compete with them with Fitness Plus. For Fitness Plus, obviously, you need an Apple Watch. I've used the Nike training app in the past. It's really great for like short workouts that are really gonna get your blood pump in and give you a really good sweat and a really nice workout. Fitness Plus was introduced as an experience powered by Apple Watch and a fitness experience for everyone. Trainers from all around the world, or is it world-class trainers or both? But basically, this seems like an Apple Watch version of what Peloton created and it's actually a little bit cheaper at $99 a month opposed to Peloton's $12.99 a month subscription price. As a front-end developer, I really like the style of the fitness widget, which in real time tells you the amount of time you're working out, your heart rate, and calories burned with a cool like animation at the bottom. I know you have those same measurements on your watch, but seeing them on a iPhone screen or an iPad screen while you're working out feels a little bit more immersive. There's also an improved altimeter feature, which is always on giving you real-time elevation using a more power efficiency barometric altimeter. This new feature can be shown as a new watch face complication or workout metric. So if you're hiking or cycling, this feature is for you. Okay, so we talked about the new features and the new colors that are in the Apple Watch Series 6. And maybe you already know which one you want, but in my opinion, if you have the budget and keep in mind that you can trade in your Apple Watch Series 3 and get like $95 off your next Apple Watch purchase. If you have the budget, my recommendation is just to get the newer model, the Apple Watch Series 6. For one, I've been waiting for Apple to come up with some sort of new shape and it looks like I'm gonna be waiting forever. Apple sets the bar when it comes to smartwatches and they're dominating the market. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's one of the main reasons why I pulled the trigger on the Apple Watch Series 6. If I'm waiting on a new shape, I could be waiting till like Series 10 or Series X. Also, if you're into the new colors, especially for those of you who are interested in the stainless steel version and you can get graphite, then it's definitely worth the upgrade. I love this navy blue colorway. This navy blue, it's, it's not really showy or anything like that. It's not bright, it's really subtle. I think it pairs well with really any other color like black, silver, and white. Coming from the Series 3, the Series 6 44 millimeter is significantly brighter and larger than the Series 3 42 millimeter, even though the surface area is around the same size. That's because Apple extended the user interface to cover more surface area in the Series 4, 5, and 6 Apple Watches. So with all that being said, if you're still here, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate your loyalty for staying till the end of the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I love for you all to become a part of the fam. And with all that being said, I'll see you all soon. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. Peace.